Other news today, legal experts say it was the exemplary record of Manson family member Leslie Van Houten that won her freedom after 53 years. But that's not good enough for the families of her victims. They say she should have been kept behind bars. Fury is growing today over Manson family member Leslie Van Houten's release from prison after serving 53 years of her life sentence. Van Houten was just 19 when she joined up with sadistic Charles Manson and took part in the Tate LaBianca killing spree in Los Angeles. I don't get it. I'm very angry about it. Ava Roosevelt was an up-and-coming model and close friends with Sharon Tate in the summer of 1969. She was headed to the Tate home on the night of the murders when her Rolls Royce had mechanical problems. She turned around, thus avoiding the horrific Manson family slaughter. She spoke today with our Allison Hall. So you could have been there. Yeah. It was just incomprehensible to, to, to imagine. Nobody could understand why this beautiful woman, Sharon, pregnant, was stabbed like 56 times. After her escape from death, Ava married FDR's grandson. She's still haunted by the nightmare that befell Sharon Tate and the other victims, including the LaBiancas. I really am very sad. It doesn't go away. This man is also expressing outrage. It's a feeling of helplessness, uh, Disappointment in the system. Anthony DiMaria is the nephew of celebrity hairstylist Jay Sebring, who was murdered at Tate's home. Leslie Van Houten is a cold-blooded killer in one of the most notorious murder rampages in United States history. During a prison interview with Diane Sawyer, Van Houten, a former homecoming queen, admitted her role in holding down Rosemary LaBianca and brutally stabbing her 14 times. I took away all that life. I take responsibility for my part. And part of my responsibility was helping create him. Now 73 years old, she entered a so-called transitional housing yesterday at an unknown location. We spoke with her attorney. She was excited, she was ecstatic. I expected to go very well. She's a very bright woman. Van Houten earned a master's degree while in prison. Her attorney tells us she already has job offers from community colleges.